Okay, now this one's rare. It's ugly. I, it goes straight down the bank, down the mountain. I can't capture this except in close-ups. Nobody probably even knows what it is, so I'll tell you. The back end says Wabco. It says a pull there, which makes it a Laterno. Which is kind of cool. A real live Laterno. Peoria, Illinois. Pretty close to Caterpillar Tractor's home. It's got a big Detroit GM Straight 6. Not sure which one it is, just guessing. Could be a 670, no, I don't know what it is, not even a guess. 653, 671, I don't know. mechanism this one actually appears because there's a logging arch over there and there's some big clips on there looks like it had an arch so this would have been a skitter that big belly that big apron in there where the great all other great all is sitting would have been where the logs sit in there Laternos were most, a lot of them were electric, but I don't know if that's the case here or not. There's sitting inside it. There's the hood. Pretty well built rollover structure, even for back then. Pretty heavy duty. Those are up, hoist up, apron up, tailgate. It's almost built like a, I think it's the front half of a, one of his turnip holes, the scrapers. Probably just reuse these. Oh yeah, these. this is electric. Huh, there, your first look anybody probably of these. Except there's some at the Forest Museum. I haven't seen those yet. Jump down. See the front of it a little bit here. Real live Laterno. Huh, neat find. Strange machine. Model C. Back wheels. Yeah, that's where that arch went on, went in these holes. Just have some winch or something in it for. Oh, yuck. Yeah, that's a drum. So let's get a winch in there that would have went up over the arch. would have sat in here. And there's another great all. Another rubber one truck mount. Holy smoke, there's some linkage. Look how big those suckers are. Inch across. That's what they meant by Armstrong controls.
All right.